Good morning from Pride, Nerd Fighters. It's Monday, July 1st. Happy Canada Day! Since December, I've wanted to build a bookcase. My books have just been kind of strewn around my room and I was running out of places to put them. So I decided to make one and then I procrastinated the decision and procrastinated until suddenly it was May. So when this idea for the vlog project came up, I thought, perfect, a way that I can document my building because that would be fun and also a way to make myself accountable. So without further ado, the first step to making my bookshelf is to put wedges that will be screwed into the sides that the shelves will lie on. That way the weight of the books doesn't cause the shelves to collapse. So the actual first step then is just a lot of measuring. Okay, so for this step, we're gonna wood glue these down. And then once those dry after hopefully about an hour, we're gonna fill them in. Pro tip to anyone trying to do something like this, make sure that you don't forget to pre-drill holes in before trying to actually screw the screws in. The next step is to screw the top, bottom, and sides together to make a full skeleton. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be able to rock back and forth so much, but it did, so we're just gonna go with that's its character. Step three, I think, is to drill all of the shelves in. Quick pro tip, if, like me, you can't measure things correctly, you can stick one of those felt things that go on the bottom of chairs in between if it's not quite level. So here it is with all the shelves in. It still stands. Okay, so for this part we got goggles because no one should ever trust me with anything like this. So we're going to attempt to figure out how to use my friend's saw. It's gonna go great. The next step is to measure out a piece of plywood to use for the back and see if you can cut it with the saw. Good enough. That worked. It's good enough. Final step of building is to drill the back on. And there you go. I managed to make a standing, fully formed bookshelf. Okay, so I have my bookcase primed, and now I'm going to paint it mostly white with the inside parts, like here, blue, and then I'm going to put book quotes on the inside of the blue and white. Welcome to speed painting because of the four minute time limit, woo! And we're done. But actually we're not done because there's still book quotes. Shout out to everyone who suggested some for me, that was a big help. I ended up using, I think, three. One from Neko, one from Gloria, and one from Sup. I'll put all the quotes and their books down in the description so you can see them, but here's what the shelf looks like without any books. And this is what the bookshelf looks like now in my room. At the top, we have some nonfiction books, some yearbooks, stuff like that, as well as some prep materials to please our college board overlords. And then on all of the rest of the shelves, we have my books starting alphabetically on the second shelf, going all the way to the bottom. I also put some little trinkets and pictures and things I've gathered from trips around the years to fill up some of the empty space that will probably be filled up with more books eventually. It's been a couple weeks since I finished building it and it has not fallen down yet, so I'm gonna call it a success. I want to take a second just to say thank you to everyone on the server, from the really good friends that I've made to the people that I may not have gotten a chance to talk to yet. I just want to say I could not be more proud or lucky to be a part of this community. I can't wait to see the rest of the videos at DFTVA. Emmy, I'll see you tomorrow. And also right now. <laughs>